me llama Sedea y yo amor español. For anyone who knows no idea what I said, I said, hello, my name is Sedea and I love Spanish. That is totally okay if you don't know what I said because that is why I am here. I am a black mother of three, 28 years old, and I absolutely love Spanish. I've always um, loved speaking the language. It's a super fun language to learn, and it just, I don't know, it'll, it uplifts my spirits, so. <laughs> So who am I and what I do? I already um, explained a little bit about myself. <laughs> um, but yes, I am a variety show named Variety Views and this is what I do. I pick a variety of things to talk about. And one of the segments on my show is a to learn Spanish with me. So that is what this is. So welcome. <laughs> How old was I when I started to speak Spanish, learn it, um, try to write it? I was about, I want to say, I had to have been in fifth grade because that's when they kind of started introducing that kind of stuff to, uh, you know, different things to us. And a world language was one. And my um, Espanol name was Angela, which I do not know why, because I and if I'm under the understanding that Angela um, means angel or Angela in Spanish. So I don't know if she had like a liking of me or I grew on her and, you know, she looked at me as her little angel. But yeah, that woman, my Spanish teacher, Miss Rivera, rest in peace. Um, she, <laughs> she named me Angela and I was like, okay. <laughs> um, but you know, she's a super awesome woman and she it sparked my interest in the language. Also, I want to state that, um, where I lived was predominantly white and, um, you know, at a certain point of time, I had started, ended up having, uh, like, friends of Latina and Latino origin and I mean you know I would have I would have um you know in Hispanic I would have like uh Mexican friends I would have Cubano friends I would have Dominicano Puerto Rican um you name it like I had a plethora of friends that spoke different languages and although it's not the same languages obviously um, you know, it's still, I still wanted to roll my tongue like that. I wanted to like, I wanted to learn and understand what they were saying. And, you know, at a point of time, I was old, I was like, what, in sixth or seventh grade going over my Puerto Rican friend's house. Um, and, uh, she, her mom did not play y'all. She would say, you know, I have no problem with you coming over. But, you know, you need to speak another language. You need to learn another language. Why? Because you'll make more money. You'll, you know, she just started spitting this knowledge to me, right? And I was just like, okay. And she was like, and not only that, I don't feel like, <laughs> she's like, I don't feel like speaking English right now. I feel like speaking Spanish, And but I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. She's like, but this is my house and I need to talk to my kids for a minute. She would speak, she would, you know, start speaking um. Spanish to them and they would understand her and they would speak it back and then at a, at a point of time where I was like big y'all like I want to say 12 still going over to her house and you know seeing my friends because we were best friends me and that girl you know me and my Puerto Rican friends she was, we were best friends and she had a sister she had a brother so it was like a big house like I always wanted to go over and just like swim in their pool and have fun and because you know they were just some they were awesome people loving people and um so you know I would go over there it, it I was like 12 13 at this point and she was just like girl you know Spanish stop playing with me <laughs> she's like I see how you be looking and how you shake your head and how you answer me 
He's like, don't be coming over here no more and not speaking Spanish. I'm going to teach you my chancleta. And I'm like, oh, snap. <laughs> like, please, no, no, no. Um, so, you know, once she, like, made it known, like, girl, I'm not playing with you. I know you speak Espanol. I was just like, okay, you're right. You're right. I do. I've been paying attention. Um, I've been, it was, it got to the point, I guess, that people um, thought that I actually was of Latina origin um, and thought I was Dominican or something because I remember back in school um, when I think it was like fifth or sixth grade, I got the lead role for a play and that was Juanita Fandango, right? A Mexican um, actress slash superstar, right? And she was like one of the main leading roles and I, I got that role. And um, I even remember people saying like, oh, you're not really Spanish? And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm black. I'm black. And they'd be like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, okay, like, um, but that's that's how deep it got for me because I literally hung out with like I had my white friends, I had my handful of black friends, but literally, all you saw me with was my Mexican friends, my um, like, um, my Puerto Rican friends, my Dominican friends, my Cubano friends, and that number of friends grew once I got to high school. And um, to the point, you know, I was in Spanish club in middle school to high school. I was in, you know, I just, I just, I became like family um, with this community of people. And it was, it was freaking awesome. And I've learned so much and I've learned so many different languages um, and different ways to speak a certain language. Um, and the differences between the language because there are differences you know you can't say I speak Spanish and then go up to um, like a Mexican woman or man and you know start spewing out the mouth yes some things are similar but that does not mean the whole language is the same so that is that is something that we all need to get out of our heads <laughs> so erase erase that way of thinking the specific Espanol that I am going to be learning and talking with you guys about and teaching is um, the like the European um, Spanish origin. Okay, so do not take what I'm saying, what I'm teaching, and think that you know Spanish because you only know one part of Spanish. There's actually, you know, there's different, like I said, avenues. We need to understand that, like you know, if it's like saying everybody is the same when they're not. So, like I said, we're going to erase that way of thinking. It's 2021. <laughs> we are going to erase that. Okay, so getting into why it is important, absolutely 100% important to learn Spanish. Um, and then not only stop there, but also learn the different, um, the differences between um you know the language that like uh, the language that mexican women and, and men speak because like i said i it's not the same y'all they, it's similar very similar but not the same okay so um so let me just say why it's important because number one i feel like i would be lost if i went to go live somewhere else and you know because I wanted to or needed to whatever the case or situation is and I couldn't understand anybody and nobody took the effort to even try to understand me or try to or try to communicate with me right um, and that's why that's why this is just extremely important to me learning Spanish um, speaking it writing it reading it breathing it because, you know, I can only imagine, and I have been in situations where someone didn't know um, where they were at or how to, you know, where to go or anything like that. And I was able to take, what, five minutes out of my day to communicate with them in Espanol and help them out to wherever they needed to go. Um, that is super easy to do, guys. Um, a quick scenario of why it is important to learn Spanish is because I remember one day 
my fiance dropped me off to the airport to go um, pick up my daughter from New Jersey with our family or where my family lives. And um, so I'm about to get on, you know, go get my ticket. And the, there's this man frantically like trying to explain to everybody and they're just like, okay, well, you need to calm down and you know, you need to relax and we will, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get a translator. We'll get a translator. Cause he was speaking this and yo, and, um, so I'm just like, I'm like, oh, babe, I got to help. I got to help out here. He's going to miss his plane. And then he's like, oh, he's like, is, is that what's happening? I'm like, yeah, he's about to miss his plane. Like, we, I got to get to him now. So I went up to him and I went up to the, you know, front desk. And I'm like, um, you know, uno momento, you know, telling the lady when, you know, I'm sorry, telling the guy uno momento. And then I'm like talking to the uh person who's handling the tickets and I'm like you know what is the problem she's like I don't know he, I can't understand what he's saying and if you could please translate real quick um because he's frantic that would be awesome and I'm like yeah yeah, yeah I, I got you so I'm like so you know you know que un problema and uh, he's like uh he's like yeah he's like this is what he's saying to me in Spanish um he's like yes I don't have my I don't have I lost my ticket you know, he's giving me boleto, mi boleto, mi boleto, mi boleto. I'm like, okay, okay, your ticket. When's the last time you saw it? You know, I'm he's like, um, he's like, I, I don't know. So I'm just like, okay, that's fine. He's like, yo no sé, yo no sé. So I'm talking to, then I have to talk to the front desk person again. I'm like, okay, so this is what's going down. This gentleman does not know where his ticket is. Can you help him in another way to pull up, like pull up his information and stuff like that? She's like, yeah, sure. So she's like, okay, what's his name? I'm say, I'm like, so I'm, I'm like, what's your name? And he's like, oh, this and then that. So she, she types it in. And then she's like, but where are you going? And so I'm like, you know, where are you going? And he's like, Miami. So I'm like, his ticket, he, he lost his ticket to go to Miami. That took like 15, not even 15 minutes, 10 minutes to help this man get his ticket that he lost. And because, and you know, he almost missed his flight. And you know, good thing, I want to say like they found me they found me when I was um walking to because after they processed him and all that and got him to where he had to go they processed me it took a little bit because I my ticket was having issues everybody's ticket was having issues <laughs> and they actually came back to me and said you helped that guy he got on his he got on his flight to Miami and you helped him and I was like I'm so happy um but that's not the only, you know, that's not the only time I was able to help somebody because they did not speak English and nobody else around them spoke Spanish. And so it was like a miscommunication, miss, I don't know what's happening. And I was able to intervene and help. So kudos to me. <laughs> also, the most um, amazing thing about Spanish is anybody can learn. Anybody can learn. Um, even if you have never spoke a lick of Spanish in your life, even if you don't can't roll your tongue, uh, can't roll your tongue or roll your R's, even if you can't, um, you know, just pronounce certain things, anybody can still learn Spanish because once you get the swing of it, you you will have it. Okay, um, it is a quick, a very quick language to learn. Like I said, um, I was a kid when I first started, and I feel like when you're a kid, maybe you're more of a sponge and it's able to soak up in your head, and that's why I'm able to remember some things. But um, the fact of the fact that you know I'm on Duolingo, that's a the app that I use, um, and I can actually I will actually do a quick lesson with you guys to show you um, what I'm talking about at the end of me talking right now but um it's super fun it's a super easy way to learn um and you know they have like activities on there and books like stories for you to do and, and, and like um interact with and um so it's just it's it's really fun it's a very good language to learn 
I say, why not, you know, why limit yourself? It's also important because like I was saying earlier, my friend's mom was saying you make more money. Let me tell you something. When you are bilingual in this country, you get pay. You get pay, okay? So why not be bilingual? Why not, you know, challenge yourself to something? Like we had, like, instead of scrolling on Facebook endlessly, learn a different language. Um, So, you know, it just makes no sense that we're all at home in this pandemic and all we can think but to do is to go on Facebook or Instagram, scroll, 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 scroll. So <laughs> let's stop that and learn another language. Let's all get together and learn Spanish with Daya. Um, guess I talk about myself in third person. <laughs> um, and so future videos will be us doing a lesson together. Like in my ASL classes, we will be testing, I'll be testing you guys out. Um, I only did an introduction for the ASL, but I will be doing a lesson number one soon, hopefully. Um, but yeah, in the future, just stay tuned for the actual lesson number one for lesson number one for Espanol class, okay? It's been real. Stay tuned to watch that lesson that I'm going to put on my screen for you. And um, you guys have a beautiful day. Bye. Adios. (laughs) All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back. I wanted to go ahead and share my screen with you and show you the app Duolingo that I use um, and, you know, do a quick lesson with you guys. So in the corner here, you can see that I'm studying Spanish. Um, I have 44 crowns from leveling up. I'm on a one day streak. My daily goal is 50 XP, which you gain from completing lessons and I have five hearts you gain one from practicing you can buy um, unlimited with the little like uh, deal and package they got going on Um, but yeah okay so I've maxed out on introduction learning and phrases and travel and restaurant and family and shopping this bonus thing right here is just like extra learning you can have um if you purchase that duolingo plus but i'm not going to do that um this also is a button that you can get to to purchase the duolingo plus one month 12.99 12 months 4.99 a month um and then i did shopping already so i'm on press 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 tense one and i need to fix my school i maxed out on people as you can see here um and i'm working on greetings travel schedule people two people three so yeah um it's just a it's like a bunch of lessons you guys um oh we're gonna skip to lessons so joe habla espanol this is just um i'm just showing you guys this once again to show you what we will kind of things we will be learning together um so you can just you know go along fill in the blank do hablas do hablas uh, do hablo espanol do hablas espanol because that's plural um yo equals what tu equals hablas and el ella equals what so yo is hablo hablo and el ella habla. is hablo complete the words yo com Yo compraro una blessing. Yo comprar. Um, okay. Huh. You know, I get things wrong too, because like I said, I'm still learning. Yo hablo, yo, yo habla español. Habla. El hablo español. Yo hablo español and yo habla. Okay, so I had to mix the two around. Yo compro, tu compras. Compras. Compra. Yo necesito. 
own hotel. So this is, it's actually getting harder, the test, because I didn't use, used to have to type in letters and stuff like that. So as you go, el compra. It, um, it gets a little bit trickier, but that's how you learn. So. Tú compras, el compra. Tú compras. Tú compras, el compra. El compra. Tú paga, paga. el pan. Paga, oh, pagas, no. paga. Ah, I got it right, okay. Tú pagas el pan, ella paga el pan. Tú necesito un taxi. Do you... Oh, ni... oh yeah, because it's plural. Dang. Yo pago, ella paga. Yo, Yo pago, pago, ella, ella paga. Pero compra manzanas. Yeah, okay. Yo necesito, yo necesitas. Because it's plural. I keep getting stuck on that. El necesita un teléfono. Yo pago, tú pagas, ella paga. Ooh, we're in this together. You're practicing Spanish with 474,726 other learners right now. Woohoo. Okay, yo pago, tú pagas, right? Because it's plural. Paga. Tú compras, plural, una casa. Ella habla español. Yo compra. Oh, yeah, I keep, I got that. I keep getting that one wrong, too. <laughs> Yo neces... Yo hablo. Hablo. Habla. Yay. Tú necesitas... And then yo comparo. Compra. Compro. Yay. So, um, as you can see, I am 23 XP away from my 50 XP daily goal. Um, I completed the lesson it tells you. I got 10 XP for that. A combo bonus of 2 XP. Oh, look at that. I shot up to number 16, y'all. Oh, snap. Um, but yeah, it's super cool. These are other, the other people that I got to try to beat out. The top three get chests and more XP. Um... I'm in the Sapphire League right now, and they have their little ads, of course, because they have to, you know, they have to make their, you know, app be known and make be able to have this uh, platform be a free um, place for people to get educated, education, uh, learn a different language, so... But this pretty much just gives you a good spiel. I'm so glad this is a commercial in here right now. Um, so you guys can see exactly what you're getting out of it. So, um, and they have a little offer going on right now. So, yeah, I just have to, I, I think if I finish this pretense thing, um, it takes me all the way down to here because it shows that I know I don't even need to study the other two under it. Um, but we'll see. We will do this together more often. And I, like I said, I also plan on starting from the very beginning, the intro, so you can learn from the beginning. Um, and then we can move on and then hopefully get all the way down here. <laughs> But thank you guys for watching my channel and learning some Espanol with me. Um, and I will see you all next time. You will get more lessons, Spanish lessons out of me. 
some real special Spanish lessons out of me. So stay tuned and be safe and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.